everyone game got his feet here all right so i'm back with another episode of dream life valley i hope you all enjoy and yeah let's go thought i was recording but anyway Kristoff wanted me to uh free his sled and i just did Oh, hey, wait, could we talk? My sled's out the ice, but it took a lot of damage. There's a crack in the side, and the runners are all bent. We'll fix it. Don't it worry. It is what it is. <laughs> he said, it is what it is. Thanks, I just paid it off at Scrooge McDuck's store. Oh, I bought a book that should help. It's called Ice <laughs> how to fix your sled could you grab it from my house it's a it's probably in the library i'll start trying to fix this thing see ya all right let's go to his house So Mickey, and I went the long way. I need 50 fibers. Wow. That's a lot of seaweed I need. How you doing today? I'm good, Goofy. A little upset. I just have to learn. I let me see. What oh, did he need? Thank you, Jesus. I had it all. I'm gonna slid it. his house come on Wally I could use a hand over here how are you always staring at the wall Like he in time out. Hi. The patch is solid. Let me check the runners. Great, my sled is fixed. This is some nice work. How'd you do it? I just used some refined materials. It was all written huh. in the book. Told you it'd be useful. You know, I'd like to sell some of those refined materials you used. Nice doll. I'm sure people need them. Could you bring me samples of everything you use so I know where to stop? 
Love this, love this idea. Doing it right now. Ooh. Thanks, Goddess Fee. Gorge, I could use some help. Ah, oh, sure, Goofy, give me a second. Goddess Fee, these look amazing. They'll make a great addition to my stall. You know, after all that, Anna did some accounting for me. And it turns out I'm making enough, enough money at the stall to buy a whole new sled. No payment plan needed. So I'd like to give you my old sled as thanks for repairing it and for everything. You've been really great, Goddess Fee. You saved my sled and helped me start a new business. And now I can sell refined materials in my stall. I really appreciate your help. Oh, and you always have a discount yeah. there. If there's ever anything I can do to repay you, just let me know. Hey, congratulations. <laughs> Hi there, pal. Say, what you got there, Goddess Fee? It's a sock. I was thinking it might be your. You're right. It is one of my socks. I've been looking for them everywhere. All my socks just up and disappeared the other day. All of them. All of them? Hmm. Now that I think about it, it was only half of them. The left sock out of every pair is gone. Left sock? But socks don't. Never mind. <laughs> This is getting weirder and weirder. Whoa. I'll say, and that's not the only part that's weird. I saw some funny lights in the sky before it happened. I just thought it was some kind of shooting star, but now that I think about it, Donald's been going on about sock stealing space aliens for a week now. Maybe he's right. I believe him all along. <laughs> Say maybe the space aliens left behind some sort of clue when they messed up my house. Good idea. I'll look around your house for a clues. Good boy. Donald.
No, it's past my bedtime. What's that? Another clue? It's unidentified creature fur. It could be from a space alien, but it could be from a raccoon or something. Don't be ridiculous. What kind of raccoon steals just half of everybody's socks and that fur is blue? Besides, remember that funny doohickey we found in my house? That didn't come from any yeah. raccoon. Hey, I just got an idea. The doohickey started beeping again. Let's see what happens when we put the fur inside it. Did you see that? It started flashing again. What does it say? It says DNA match authorization 66% complete. Whack, it's making even less sense than it did before. I think it means that fur comes from a whatever is stealing everybody's sock. And that we might only need to find one more clue to make it go to 100%. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. That'll be easy. I'll keep my eyes out for any more clues. You caught a whole bunch of fish and none of them are our catfish. Maybe Goofy was right. That's impossible. I promise I saw a catfish just over there the other day. Follow me. Why are you running like that? <laughs> what a great day for fish. What are we doing? There must be a catfish right there. Catch it. found another one of the time caps I hid around the village? Give it to me. Wait, the lid screwed on tight. Just gotta twist it. Here, I unlocked it. You open it. Starting to remember what was hidden in that time capsule, Goddess Fee. And if Marilyn was there, it must have been really important. What did he tell you? Oh, draft, that part of my memory is still foggy. I also saw a place in the sunlit plateau. Do you know anything about that? I must have hid something there, something important. We've got to go see. What about the catfish? Catfish can't wait. Let's go to the sunlit plateau. Oh, it's this way. I'm over here tripping.
nothing to that yet. Okay, where I see that Donald? Another time capsule. But this one looks different and it's locked up tight. Whatever's in here must be super important. I'll try bashing it against a rock for a while. Thanks for your help, Goddess Fee. Wait, we never did manage to find a catfish in the ocean. Oh. Oh, fooey. Maybe Goofy was right after all. You should apologize. You're right. <laughs> Thanks for helping me, Goddess Fee. I'll tell Goofy I'm sorry. And I'll let you know when I figure out how to open this time capsule. Hey Goofy, I need a pair of apples. Got it. A pair and an apple. No, a pair of apples. You're gonna love the pears. They're real sweet this year. Grr. Why do I even bother? <laughs> Mickey it's Minnie around her house is uh, not lit up like she had Uncle Scrooge You've gathered everything. Now all that's left to do is craft the rusty clock tower and find a spot for it. Goodbye. All right, let's craft the thing. I need some more iron. Well, let me go and find someone to mine with and I will be back. Oh good, the valleys go first here. Tell me you have time to obtain an artifact for me. I'm in desperate need. Well, this gopher has something else to do. 
And we're somewhere. done talking about this. Shoo! Hey, kid, give me a hand. <laughs> a minute of your time. Greetings, neighbor. No, I was looking for them. I was trying to talk to you. Hey, hello. The Forest of Valor looks splendid. Well done, Goddess Aye. Pete. <laughs> as, I always, as I always say, a solid investment is sure to recap a solid reward. Splendid work! Good day, dear. Good day to you, Goddess Pete. Uh huh. All right, so I'm gonna find some materials for Mandy, and he's one of my mining buddies, so we'll be right back. All right, so we are making Minnie's clock. <laughs> Here she comes. Hello, Goddess Fee. I'm so glad to see you. Let's rebuild the rustic cock tower. It's rebuilt, Minnie. It's rebuilt. Hmm. Hmm. Do me a favor, won't you, dear? Not right now. We'll put it right here for now, Minnie. You can go on. Bye bye. <laughs> A wonderful job, Goddess Fee. The rustic clock tower looks as great as new, both elegant and useful. You know, seeing you do so many useful things reminds me of the Cheerful Chums Club. What's the Cheerful Chums Club? <laughs> well, I don't recall exactly who was in the club, but I know we made sure everyone in the village had what they needed. If the club were around today, I might just nominate you to be a president. Oh, before I forget, I made these clothes as a thank you hey, present for I've all got a your job wonderful for you. work. Give me a hat in the world. Lord have mercy. I hope you like them. Alright, thank you all for watching and yeah, if you like what you see, if you can please hit that subscribe button, it will help me out a lot. And also, if you can like the, uh, the video, I appreciate that as well. And yeah, you all take care. Thank you all for watching. Thank you.